Welcome to the Service Now Star Podcast. I am your host, Mohammed. Ka- Welcome to today's episode. Today we would like to walk you through how to display a Flitter list on your on your own portal. Great. Thank you, Sharia. So uh, as Sharia say today, I'm gonna show you how to uh, display the filter list. Let's say here I have a project, two projects, and these two projects are filtered uh, by type, which is a task type by project. So how can I bring this one to a portal page? For that, we have an out of the box widgets, which is called, that widget is called the data table widget. So I'm gonna show you that one, how we can, how we can uh, use the data table widget. So I have, I have got this widget over here. This is the widget, which is in the global application. So if you wanna use this, or if you wanna make any change on this widget, you can clone it. Clone means you can, uh, it will copy for you all the HTML templates, the CSS, the server script, the controller, which is the client controller, and everything for you, just gonna copy for you, and you can um, customize it as per your need. But for today, we're not gonna customize, we're not gonna do any configuration or any uh, deletion on it. So we're just gonna keep it. So we're going to clone it. Once you clone it, you will have everything as it is. And the next thing over here, this is, um, a portal page so once you have that widgets once you have that widget you will have a portal page okay in your portal page um, in your portal page you will going to uh, put that widget so I'm gonna show you how to do that so you go ahead and click on opening designer so designer it is my favorite uh, my favorite place where you can you, you can work on your portal, okay? So you click on open in a designer, then designer will gonna open for you now here. So once you have that, you're gonna pull your data table from here. So, okay, you're just gonna write the data and you're gonna find it. So right here I have data table with filter. I have a copy of data table that I copied earlier. So you can drag and drop, okay, from there to here. So I already drag it here. I'll show you how to edit. Once you drag and drop it here in your uh, portal, you're just gonna click here the pencil icon. And now I'm gonna walk you through what each uh, information here we can update it. So the first thing here important, the first thing is a title. So the title, uh, before the title actually, you have the table, you need to specify the table, which table you're going to use here. I am going to use PM underscore project, which is the project table. So that is uh, the name of the table. So you need to specify the name of the table. If you are working on the incident, you can put the incident over here. Then the filter, what is that give you here? This is a text field from the condition builder. So you can use a condition builder and then you can uh, paste that condition builder filter. You can paste it here so it can filter for you. The fields, what fields are you going to add? That's, that's what I have right here is I have a short description, number, project manager, percent complete, status and status and state. So all these fields are coming from the data table, right? You uh, click over here on the field. It's just going to bring all fields that are active there. So let's say if I want to add actual in the dates, it's just going to populate for me. If I want to delete it, I'm just going to click and delete over here. So the maximum entry is the limit, the number of items is going to be displayed in your um, table. So if there are more entries, then you can allow it in the table. All right, the next thing is you can order it. That means, let's say if I click over here, I can order it by number. If I write right here by number, I can order it by number, or I can order it by short description, whichever way you want, you can uh, do that here. So ordered, order direction, you can do ascending or descending. You have two options or you can say none. And the title is gonna be here. All projects, whatever title you give it is gonna be displayed. And the bootstrap here, the bootstrap color, so it, just, it, it is the color of the scheme for the widgets. So if you keep it default, the color is gonna be 
the portal team. Whatever you put in portal team, the CSS is just gonna get from there. So I, I leave it as uh, default and the, the glyph then here, what it will give you is, it just can um, a kind of symbol. Let's say I'll take this glyph then here, uh, that displays beside the widget title. So it's going to be displayed and I'm going to use that one. All right, let's go ahead and um, one last thing here is the link link to this page. So this is um, a direct user to specify the page when you click a record. So by default, if you just have anything you didn't mention here, so clicking an entry in the table, it opens that entry on the form. Great, let's go ahead and save this one because I made some change on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and see what it looks like. Great. All right, let's give it a minute until it gets saved for us. All right, it's processing, it's saved. Now, uh, from the designer right here, you can preview, you can preview and see. Or another option is you go ahead from the portal page and I'm go ahead and refresh this one since I already have that. Great. So here I have the portal page, uh, the filtered list, okay? The filtered list of a given. So I'm displaying, this is displaying for me a filtered list on my portal page that all the project from the project table. So I have those projects right here, the project name, that's the number, that's the project manager, percentile. These are all the ones that I configured. So this is how we can, how we can uh, display a filter list in portal. Great. I hope you guys uh, get something from this. If you have any question, my name is Mohammed Kamal. You can leave it in the comment until we see each other in another demo.